Hey dudes, it's Pixel Tricks. Welcome back to Spyro. Alright, so Pixel Tricks did Noopsie. Yeah, I didn't do the Ice Cavern. I thought that Peacekeeper. <laughs> I thought the Peacekeepers was really short. Final episode of the series. Welcome to Ice Caverns, everyone. So I need this guy to taunt, and apparently there's a trophy for hitting him with this when he's taunting us. Hey? Eh? Yeah, shoot the moon. <laughs> right. Was it down here? Ice cavern. I totally missed this. It was hidden under a rock. <laughs> I feel so dumb. Well, looking at the list, that's apparently the only thing I'm missing. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I thought for sure Peacekeeper is, like, way too short. You know what's funny is, I was totally thinking about this level while we were in Peacekeepers, but I got so sidetracked. And this is like the first level that actually came to mind when we went to Peacekeepers, but I just totally forgot about it. Word of caution, little one. Wait until you grow big. <clears throat> like me. Before charging those large enemies. Alright, so there's some stuff like above there we have to go back to get as well. This level looks pretty big too. Huh? Got like chill his out of the phone and everything. Yeah, I was looking at the trophy list, dude, and it's massive. They put so much stuff for you to do. <laughs> like that little random thing that we just did. And we also have to, like, do certain levels without, like, destroying the enemies. Not the enemies, the, uh, like the things that give you butterflies. Like, in one of the later levels, we have to kill no rats. But yeah, like these guys. Norks up ahead are wearing armor, and in the ice cave, armor can make their feet very slippery. Hmm. I guess so. We have to uh, charge them. It'll probably make them fall off the cliff or something, huh? Yeah, these goons. Oh, dude, they look cool. Maybe this level isn't so big. Thank you for releasing me. Yeah. Yeah, how do we get up there? Like at the beginning. I don't know. I'll remember how to get that. Here's the ending. Maybe we have to glide from all the way up here, huh? I don't know if a spiral can make that. Yeah, no way. It's way too far. Well, check this out. I guess let's uh, grab this. Yeah, this place has so many branching paths. 
Huh. Where does this go? I don't know. Oh, you know what? I think I re vaguely remember this. Yeah. I think we just have to do like a crazy glide to get it all the way over there. By the looks of it. Duh. Look at this. Oh, I think we just have to like charge into it and make it fall, huh? Yeah. All this purple goop, everyone. I like that they put the collectibles right next to the edge of the cliff. Oh, triathlon. Nice. Yeah, there's like a bunch of like little mini trophies just like that. That involve like doing very specific things. Like you have to torch certain enemies and other enemies you have to only like run into them and stuff like that. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Uh, ready for what? <laughs> okay, so it looks like we rescued every single dragon up until uh, the final point right there. Yeah, I think we have to glide from here? How else do we get in there? Uh, no. Far from it. Yeah, I think this is the point where I'm like, I have no idea how to get up there. Nice. Okay, so we got the key. Cool. Okay, so we got this. At least. Yeah, we have to get on top of here. How exactly do we... Wait, we got them all. Really? <laughs> How? <laughs> I thought for sure. I, I guess we already got those gems. Okay, so we're back here in the Nor Nexus. And, uh. I actually think there's a trophy for getting through this without killing any rats. I believe it was this one. Complete Nor Cove without killing any rats. Okay, rat-tastic. Rat I suppose we could start doing the trophy cleanup now. Yeah, why not? There's a lot to get to. There's, like, just a lot of little things in, like, every single world. You guys weren't kidding. Flame ten sheep in Stone Hill. And done. Sheep kebab. Do a loop around an arc. Uh, barn stormer. Okay. Big brained. Charge a vulture. Okay, so apparently, according to people on YouTube, it has to be a very specific level here in Dry Canyon. Yeah, big brained. Oh, bird brain. <laughs> I'm anything but big brained. <laughs> okay, hot wings. Flame all fairies in night flight. Since we 100%ed the level, we actually have infinite time here which is pretty cool which makes this a lot easier um okay so the first fairy should be right here okay and you'll know you got them if there's like a little giggle okay the next one should be right by these reens right over here yeah there she is And the final one, I believe is right over this way. Kind of like by this lighthouse. Like in between? Maybe. Nice. Hot Wings 1. That's apparently a theme that we're going to have to do for like multiple times, okay? Charge through four armored druids at the start of Magic Crafters. 
at the start a magic crafters uh coming through okay beautiful so not too hard at all how did i not get that before i guess you have to get them in a certain order flame all fairies and crystal flight of course okay so the first one should be right here nice and there's only two on this particular one. It should be right at the seventh gate. Yeah. Yeah, you don't even get time. They're just here. I guess you just replay this for a bit of fun. Yeah, it should be right after this. Here she is. She have like a little mohawk, huh? Kind of looks like it. Flame five glowing mushrooms and beast makers. All right, here's the first one. Oh, I guess they just explode when you flame them. Oh, uh, there's two. Oh, here. Okay, there's three. Just hidden all over the place, aren't they? Oh, there's another right over here. Right behind the portal. Maybe down here? I had a sneaking suspicion. All right, cool. Mushroom Hunter. Uh, light three fireworks within 15 seconds. Okay, so we're back here in Terrace Village. And I believe there should be three fireworks around here. We have to light them within 15 seconds. So there's one here, there, and on the floor. Oh, please get it. That apparently didn't count. Oh yeah, it did rockets here. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, so it wasn't too bad. Free a trapped chicken. Alright, a chicken right here. And I know there was a trap. Yeah, check it out. Now how do I free you without killing you? Yeah. I'm a hero. Alright, cool. Cage tree. Well, that was really simple. Uh, okay. Defeat three demon dogs in large form. Bad doggies. Nah. <laughs> okay, what next? Jockus Tacular. Defeat four nightmare beasts in one glide. Okay, we got it. We got it. Jockus Tacular, everyone. Unlock Nasty's loot. Destroy six gears in Twilight Harbor. Get Nasty in order to complete five laps. Collect all gems. Alright, so that's it. That did not take too long. Not too long. I thought it'd be much worse. So what do we have to do in Twilight Harbor? I think that's next. Destroy six gears. Alright, so we are looking for gears here. Twilight Harbor. Okay. Wow, the clouds look really cool. What is this? This man got a Gatling gun, bro. Yeah, this is all like pure themed, huh? Hello. Apparently people were very upset because it looks like, yeah, it's like a Splatoon gun. And before it was just like a normal gun. And was like, oh my God, they censored this. <laughs> Honestly, I would not even realize if people didn't point it out. Whoa, look at this man go. The savage, yeah, dude, they really like these like branching paths here, don't they? What's this? <laughs> looks like a goofy, it looks like a sad face, dudes. Yeah, we in the industry now. I guess so. Wait, 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 wait. We have to look out for gears. I don't see any here. We have to destroy six of them, apparently. Well, this one's already destroyed, though. Yeah, I have no clue.
This man's ready for the splat fest. He's ready for Splatoon 3. We got a lot of goons here. Alright, so we need something to destroy this. We got some rats. We don't have to worry about not destroying them here. Cosmos again. Thank you for rescuing me. Oh, okay, nice little twist. I see you. Switching things up here. Look at this savage man. I'm not seeing no gears, friends. This might be a rather big level, who knows? You missed. Well, I suppose we could just complete the level and then we'll worry about it. Yo, look how sick this guy is. <laughs> he rolls out on the side of his shoulder. Yeah, there must be like a rocket around here. That we can use to actually destroy it. Oh, look at this. Check this out. What am I doing? Oh. Oh, there must be like a supercharge around here. I see. I totally see. Okay. Be on the lookout for North Commando, Spyro. They better be on the lookout for me. Yeah. Damage. Ow. Alright, let's see if we can get this supercharged thing going on here, huh? Might be some stuff up here too, yeah. They're like, you're gonna need this. <laughs> Maybe. Well, it doesn't look too hard, huh? Famous last words. Ah, man. Bruh. Okay, we got him. Oh, no, we got it. Alright, it wasn't too bad. Alright, let's actually get up there now. And collect all the stuff we missed. Hmm. Nice. Still have yet to see one gear. Yeah, I don't know. What is this about? A little aesthetic piece, I suppose. <laughs> this guy's crazy. Whoa, that man got some range. They call him Marth. more gems okay wow that is a lot of lava just kind of going down to the water huh <laughs> damage it's kind of hard to avoid dudes it's so embarrassing i hope you guys won't make fun of me because i can't get past that dudes i am trying it is very difficult please don't make fun of me well we made it to the end <laughs> and I, I must have went right past these so-called gears that I was told about. Missing a lot of stuff too, huh? Well, we got them. Oh, looks to be it. Yeah, okay. So we finished that, but there's still the matter of the trophy in this. Oh, check it out. I see one. Damn it, I shouldn't have fell. Thought, well... I still believe. So we have to glide from all the way over there. Oh, maybe we could do this. Uh, yeah, we got one. Alright, so they're just gonna be in, like, random spots all over the place, huh? 
They're really sneaky. This might be a little hard. There's two. There's six of these things. All right, here in the corner, you just barely make it out. So that's what, three? I think so. What, what if, oh, check this out. Oh, I found a secret. Oh, here. Oh, here. There we go. Okay, so we're only missing one more gear. Oh, I think I see it. Yeah, there it is. Okay, done. Uh, oh, well, I died, so. We probably have to go back and get the other ones. What really grinds my gears? Oh, good. Okay, so there you have it. Oh, that's right. We have to use the exit portal, too. Okay, so let's head there. Okay, done. Nice. So it looks like we're just about to... Yeah, the clouds look so sick here, dude. It's all the, like, toxic waste or... All the smoke coming from the things, right? Yeah, okay, so there's only two portals left, and I think the final one is the loot area. I believe so. Twilight Harbor done. Yeah, Nasty Noor. And then this will open once we beat him. That's like the treasure vault. And I believe it will only open when you 100% everything else in the game. Yeah, nice, dude. Okay, so this is it, the final boss. Oh, look at that total. <laughs> Finally. Finally. It's still kind of a little off, but it's a lot better than it has been this whole time. Confronting Nasty Nork. Nice, dude. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> Finally got the tro trophy wrap up. We have to get all the skill points, too. So we have to perfect this fight. I don't think it's an actual world. I don't know. Oh. I guess it is. I can hear him yelling in the background. Oh, there he is. Nasty, what are you doing? Look at all this. I don't think we can reach him. Oh, dude, they have the key. I thought we could get a quick snipe there. Might as well grab this all along the way. This man got so many gems. This is his, like, uh, place after all. Yeah, we have to do five laps. Like, we have to make Nasty do five laps, apparently. Whatever that means. I guess we'll be chasing him down, similar to this. Damn it. He's a slippery one, he is. The green turban thief. Dude, I missed a bunch of gems. I think when he jumps is when we get our chance. Damn it, dude. Oh, I got another gem somehow. <laughs> I'll get him eventually, I swear. These guys are really hard to get. Okay, we got it. Okay, so we got the key. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Well, so much for perfect. Mega is so much for perfect. I have the key game. What do you want from me? Oh, I see. I didn't know. That might not count, actually. Come to think of it. It might, but who knows. Look at all this. Nice. Okay, we got it. Let's see if we can actually collect all the gems this time. I think about five laps, it mean, they mean like you have to catch the all these guys within five laps. Hey, right, Nasty. Now what? Hey. Oh, that boy is running. He knows. <laughs> I remember the Nasty Nora fight, actually. To be perfectly honest. Or 
keeps that man going. Maybe we have to make him do more than five laps. He's really fast. This man go. Taking all of his stuff. I didn't miss that. Duh. <laughs> He's like, oh shit, dude, let's get out of here. <laughs> ah, it's kind of funny. He's like, I don't want to mess with Spyro. <laughs> just books it. What a fun it was. He just runs away from me. I'm sure there's like multiple phases. Huh? Look at that man go. He probably like starts shooting at you. No? I missed. Damn it, dude. <laughs> I wonder if I could like cut him off at the path. He's worse than the turban, guys. What if he goes down one hit? That'd be so funny. Hey. Okay. Got a nice 25 gem on that one. Thanks for waiting for me, dude. Some gnarly platforming here. Damage. Oh, that's it? You're toast, Nork. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, I got a skill point. Oh. <laughs> Sorry I took so long. Almost forgot about you guys. What about Ganasty Ganork? Nasty Nork? is toast so now there's order again in the dragon kingdom uh, well mostly i've still got some treasure to find what will you do next <sighs> i'd say the sky's the limit so there you go inspire one reignited trilogy <laughs> uh, nice we get the nice credit theme right here okay so <laughs> Yeah, hey, he just- that man just fell over in like two hits. <laughs> oh, check out all this very cool artwork right here. Alright, so this was really well done, obviously. There was only like one hiccup, I think in like the first episode, there random freeze frame, but everything ran pretty smooth. Now, there was that and there was that one invisible enemy, but besides that, uh... Yeah, my only real complaint is that they took the ability to spit fire away when you're like going up the shiny things for whatever reason i don't know why and I, it's the smallest nitpick of all time but besides that everything was very well done i like all the additions to like uh the dragons that you would rescue and yeah it was really cool i had a lot of fun it was cool to come back to this game uh spyro 2 is still my favorite but this one is you know it, it's still very very good i would still play this one a lot too the only thing is, Nasty Nora just wasn't that memorable. Because, like, you set him up as the bad guy in the beginning, and then you just, he falls over, like, immediately. <laughs> you know? So, now, the thing about, I love about Spyro 2 is, like, the whole time you're seeing Ripto, like, uh, be the villain and be funny and stuff, and, uh, you grow more attached to him. And that's why I probably prefer the second one. But we'll be getting to that eventually. We still got a couple of trophies we have to wrap up here. I have to get the perfect on Nasty Nor and I have to uh, make him run around a couple laps. But besides that, I think we're just about done here. Yeah. And it looks like we missed a couple gems in uh, his area as well, but that's fine. Oh, <laughs> look at this little one. Oh, they're like doing a play or something. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, this is cool. Hopefully you guys can see why I like this game so much. The music really makes the game for me. Yeah, it was always just so good. And, um... <laughs> it's a really funny picture. Yeah, I'm happy with how this turned out. I can't wait to see the second one.
But yeah, again, we're not going to get directly into it because there's some other stuff that I wanted to uh, finish up here first. And uh, October is coming around. And I was thinking about having kind of like a Halloween themed spooky games month uh, for that. And that's just around the corner. It's about like half a month away. But yeah, I want to take my time with Spyro 2. I don't want to like try to rush to complete it, you know, so we'll begin we'll begin back to that for sure. Oh, what's wrong, Spyro? Look how very upset he is, dude. Something broke. He looks very sad. I can't quite figure out what it is though. Yeah, he's chilling with all of his dragon friends. But yeah, if you guys uh own a switch, this is actually coming to the switch. Or maybe it's already out, I'm not entirely sure. Uh yeah, and if you liked what you saw here, consider picking up a copy for yourself, please, to support the developers. To show people that, you know, you're like interested in Spyro and you would like to see more games from them. It is a cute little series, for sure. Oh <laughs> look, Spyro putting the glasses on his <laughs> thing here, that's funny. Zoe apparently is the name of the fairy. Yeah, even like the little fairy girl is a little more relevant in the next game too. The little Picasso dude. Hmm. Alright, so watch the rest of this. Boot up the Nasty Noor battle and then uh, the final level is unlocked once you complete everything else. Yeah, I was thinking about Spyro. They always had a... Uh, a theme that you could only unlock if you collected everything. So that's probably a big reason why I complete games. Because Spyro, for the most part, had some pretty good completionist bonuses. Yeah. Be it like, you know, really simple things or... In the case of Spyro 2, a really cool thing, which I won't spoil here quite yet. But, uh... Yeah, they always had some reward for you. Be it like a, you know, a final level scenario or... Yeah, I think the third one, it's like a vacation area or something along those lines. <laughs> yeah. We got the artist right here. This is cute. What is that? Oh, it's the sheep got burnt. And <laughs> it looks very upset about it. But yeah, no real complaints. Going from a kid to, uh... An adult playing this game, I really see how like more simplistic it is, but I mean for a game like this it doesn't need to be complicated or anything. I don't know how I feel about the trophies. Yeah, I feel like a couple of them are somewhat intrusive. There's just so many of them that I like they weren't like super hard to get. But just kinda tacked down another hour, another hour at the end of the playthrough, which wasn't like super needed in my opinion. Like, I, I'm all for secret trophies, but I think there's just, like, one too many. I think some of them are fine. A small nitpick, I know. Maybe you guys feel different about it, but... Yeah. It's not that big of a deal. A lot of people worked on this. Yeah, apparently there's that, uh, medieval remake medieval 1 and 2 i believe coming out pretty soon here that's a series i never played personally but i know a lot of people are uh excited to see how that turned out we haven't heard much about that have we yeah so many remakes but these are all things that i love so <laughs> i know people are getting really sick of seeing it but i mean i can't complain you know <laughs> i i'm just so excited for xeno 1 because Xenoblade 1 is a game that like needed a remaster because it's so good, it's so well told, it's such a well told story, but it, it was on the Wii. So the Wii's uh, graphical capabilities were not all there, so there was a lot wrong. They actually had to scrap certain areas with that game, which according to the trailer it looks like they added it uh, back in. So uh, that's pretty cool. Look how cool Spyro is here. It's like he's on a set or something. Oh no, he's uh, taking an order. Oh, look at Sparks too. Sparks with the little glasses. It's adorable. How cool. <laughs> yeah, is that like a coffee joint or something? Oh, Spyro's birthday, dude. 
Yeah, I think there was like one other Spyro. No, there was a couple other Spyro games that I played after the uh, trilogy because I played all three of the games that are uh, in this collection. There's another one for like the Game Boy Advance, which I remember liking a lot, but uh, a lot of people say it's um, not too good. But I haven't played in years. I remember thinking it was neat because I loved Spyro when I was a kid. But yeah, it was on the Game Boy Advance. It was like a little uh, little game on the Game Boy Advance. I think you can play Sparks at certain points. A super special shout out to all the original Spyro the Dragon team members who contributed to the original three games. Oh, cool. But yeah, Year of the Dragon is fun too. For sure. I would probably say it's kind of hard for me to rank them because one and three are kind of like in the same boat for me. Three definitely has a lot more going on. That's true. But two is undoubtedly my favorite. <laughs> Makes me want to pick up a xylophone. <laughs> so incredibly chill. But yeah, I played that. I played the Game Boy. No, no, the Game Cube. Spyro the Dragon. That game was not too good. Yeah, I remember that. I remember getting that and being like super excited. But it was just kind of like... It just didn't run too good. It was pretty... Not well made. In that uh, aspect, unfortunately. And the models look like... Really weird. <laughs> like really like... Nightmare fuel. <laughs> It was one of those games, yeah. Yeah, who knows what lies for the future for our purple dragon friend. Apparently they added him to uh, Crash Team Racing as a DLC character or something. And I heard a lot of people are really getting upset because they added in microtransactions into Crash Team Racing. Yeah, and apparently it's like super pay to win now or something. Some along those lines. I could be completely wrong about that. Maybe it's not pay to win, but it's pay to get all the like accessories and characters when before it wasn't. Supposedly, from what I've heard. Again, I don't have the game, so I can't really say. Diana Diller, everyone. Rob Schoenfeld. <laughs> That's a fun name to say. Esteban? The man's name is Esteban. But yeah, dude. October. Gonna be Spooky Games Month. We're going to uh, try to finish up some stuff before then. We still got like about half a month until then. So I'm going to try to get back to some like older stuff that we have yet to uh, get to. I was trying to complete Spider-Man again so we could get back and finally get to the final DLC. But it's really... <laughs> it's really long. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete it. I could definitely get to the end of the game pretty fast, but I, I definitely won't have all my moves and stuff. That bugs me, and I kind of want to try to re-complete it. I already re-complete Resident Evil. I thought we'd save that for October, though. Because they gave out the free DLC for that. Yeah. Look forward to that. I think today I'll finally record Ocarina of Time finale for the lulls of like a long ass premiere or something. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah. In the next couple of days. Just because. It'd be kind of funny. <laughs> when did we drop that series? Like 2017? <laughs> something like that. It feels that long. Yeah. But now that Nintendo's show a YouTuber, so I'm eventually going to redo that series in its entirety. Like, way down the line. I was thinking about having, like, a Zelda marathon. Where we go through all the games in order. 
all the mainline series of games, you know? Like Zelda 1, Zelda 2, Link to the Past. Because there's a lot of Zeldas I haven't even completed. Yeah. There's, uh, what have I not finished? I haven't finished Twilight Princess. I did pick up Skyward Sword, which I've never played. So I wanted to get to that. Uh, I haven't fully beaten the first one either. I definitely played it. But the second one, I remember beating when I was a kid. With no cheats, no save states. And it was like one of the best accomplishments of like my childhood. <laughs> because that game's hard, you know. So, I remember getting to Shadow Link. And even back in the day, I don't know how I knew this. But I actually figured out the cheese. Where you crouch in the corner, you know. And you beat him that way. Right. <laughs> I was so stoked being that. Music department, here we go. Yeah, some extremely talented musicians here. Good stuff. There's some water. Dosh. Spec Ops Agent? What is a Spec Op Agent? I thought that was in Call of Duty. Like... I do not know. Fiona? That's a pretty name. Fiona. Jeremy, Francisco, Carlos, Carlos again, Fergus, Fergus, everyone, Chris, Jason, Glenn, Kyle, EJ, that man's name is EJ. I have so much effort went into this. The QA testers. How cool would it be to be a tester for a game like this? Especially if like you grew up with the game, you know? That'd be cool. Where do you get that job? I bet they hire like speedrunners and stuff that are used to like clipping through walls and find like uh, find exploits, huh? That must be it. Hey, if they need to find someone that's good at soft locking themselves. <laughs> I think I found my new gig right here. It's kind of my specialty. Yeah, no self lock this whole playthrough. Look at us. It's a new high for Pixel Tricks. <laughs> QA special thanks. Thanks, Peter Day. Retail and sales. You know what's a bummer? That everything gets leaked nowadays. I remember Spyro got leaked. Yeah, before it was announced. I was so happy when I saw the trailer, but I already knew because it was like trending on Twitter. And everything gets leaked. And even like the recent Smash Brothers character, the SMK character, he got leaked. Not him specifically, but everyone knew his SMK character. We just can't have nice things anymore. I wonder what brings people to leak stuff. I guess they want their 15 minutes of fame. The thing is though, I never go back to the source. I just hear it because of like word spreads. I suppose there's like a group of people that follows like leakers and stuff like that. So they could be the first to get the scoop. Make YouTube videos about it. There are like whole YouTube channels that are dedicated just to leaks. Like just to rumors. 
like 99% of the time, their entire channel is just talking about rumors that aren't even a theme. But they get a lot of clicks. I guess people like being spoiled. Good shit, dude. No sheep were harmed during the creation of this game. A few Norse, but no sheep. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you for playing. Oh, well, thanks for making a wonderful game. Look at this team, dude. It's the dream team, dude. Oh, what a wonderful picture. This is so cool. They have a lot of doggos at their place. That's awesome. Well done. Well done, lads and lasses. A fine game it was. They're all putting up the two sweet. Cool, dudes. Another dragon. Magnus. Oh, hi. Nasty's ancient history now. So, what's in there? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard. But the gate will only open if you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100%. Oh, I did it. I'm in the money. <laughs> okay, well there you go. Wait, did I complete? Oh, I completed Nasty Nora 100%. I didn't even realize. Skill point? Uh, we have to perfect him. Alright, so I'm gonna do that beforehand. Sure. <laughs> Come back when you reach 100%. 100% complete. <laughs> Drag gone and on and on. Okay. Nice. Okay, so now we've just got to not get hit by his final attack, and we got it. Just got to be fast, I guess. Hey, okay, we got it. Nice. You're toast, Nork. <laughs> uh, skill point achieved. All right, so we did it. Nice. All right, we're watching the credits. I just get it. Okay, so we have everything done. Let's go ahead and check out Nasty's loot. <laughs> All right, so we're raiding his vault. Beautiful. I wonder if there's like a final dragon or some something at the end. I know there's like two thousand gems, according to the very beginning of the game. Yeah. Okay. So there you have it. We have just about completed Spyro One. Just gotta do this, and we're set. I can't get out. I can fly now. That's sick. Of course. Yeah, we can just fly in this level. Oh, I can't go all the way up. Check this out. That's sick. What a cool little reward. It's like in the final level, at least you can fly. I wonder if you can fly for the rest of the game. I don't know. Like go back to other levels. I have to go like a certain altitude by the looks of it. Oh, we need a key and everything. This place is massive. Of course. Look at that troll. G-Force drivers are ready to install, dudes. I I'm catching up. Nah, oh, I got greedy. Nice. Okay, we got it. Yeah, it's so weird. We can't, like, go up. We're right in the vault, dudes. The 25? Oh, we have to find a ton of keys. I think there's some goons, like, flying around here. Thought I heard some. Uh, we got a rocket. Yeah, I guess the higher we get up, the higher we can fly. Aw, oh, what a fake out. Know, all of his money. Rain all the gems, dudes. Anything else around here? Yeah? No? Oh, yeah, right here. Right. 
This way, you say? Oh yeah, we have to get up there somehow. <laughs> this is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool reward, huh? Yeah, that's why I thought I heard a plane. Oh, got him. <laughs> well, that was not too hard now, was it? It's gonna go this way. Might as well open this now, huh? Oh, we need another one. I think there's multiple airplanes. Yeah, look at this, man. Oh, we have some gnarly flying to do here. Huh. Oh, he's very slow. Oh, no. He's trying to pick it up. <laughs> Where'd you get this plane? You Realistically speaking, you should just fly away. <laughs> Dragon followed me. I would not... <laughs> I would not be in one area. You saw what happened to the others. It was your own fault. Now where exactly is that gate? I'm not entirely sure. I think we already went past it. It's fine. There's still plenty more to pick up. I like the way this cave looks. It's pretty cool. Oh, another one right here. Cool, dude. Oh, we found the return portal. Still plenty to collect by the looks of it. Yeah, I don't remember the vault. Like, at all. It's gonna be the big room, huh? Oh, it's just a single. <laughs> just a single one. Anything up here? No? Where to now? Uh, apparently sparks can't lead us the way when we're flying. That way, huh? Oh, the love letters from the beginning of the game. Check this out. <laughs> wow. Let's get them all at one. Look how incredibly satisfying that is. That's sick. All 25. Beautiful. Imagination rhymes with devastation. Confidence. There's nothing to stand between you and your goal but a tiny purple dragon. <laughs> Practice. It's not about being the best. It's about destroying everyone else. Knowledge. is the power to turn dragons into crystal. What a silly little room. I was thinking maybe there'd be like a secret behind there. Kind of looks like it. Oh, here's the actual vault. No entry, you're right. I don't understand the love letter reference. I have no clue. Oh, okay, so there's apparently another rocket. Oh, here it is. I see it. That's so funny, dude. This looks to be just about it. Oh, here we go. And done. That is Spire of the Dragon 100% complete. Nasty's Demise. There you go, dudes. We have fully completed the game at this point. We got our Platinum Trophy and everything. Okay, so let's uh put this total together here. Huh. Oh, check this out. 
the dragon. You've defeated Ganasty Ganor, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the Dragon Kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. You know what they say. For every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. Uh-oh. Here we go again. Nice little bonus scene right there. That's cool. It's cool to see. I wonder if we get anything now that we have everything. I'm not sure. But yeah, there you go. That is Spyro the Dragon from beginning to end. Done and done, dudes. 100%. 120%, I believe. Nice. Uh, check it out. We got all the uh, skill points. Parts 1 and 2 of the art gallery have been unlocked. So we'll just uh, peruse this really fast. We've already seen this first bit of them. There's Toasty. Yeah, okay, so this is new past here. I like the little Sparks uh, get up. That's cool. Oh man, I got like a ninja weapon right there, you see? That's neat. The Math Teacher Dragon, dudes. Everyone's favorite. Dreamweavers, Dragons. Oh, I didn't even see the descriptions at the bottom. I was too busy looking at the art. Okay. Six hours, 30 minutes. Just about. Yeah, 120%. There you go, dudes. Nice. All right, well, thanks for the support on the series, dudes. I certainly had a wonderful time Come back to this game. Yeah. Yeah. Nice little trip down memory lane, dudes. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you uh, next time when we actually get to Ripto's Rage, whenever that might be. Yeah, huh? I guess so. Let's go ahead. We already saved. Look at that. 120%. How satisfying, yeah? Can't wait to check this out. That's going to be so cool. All right. Have a good one, dudes. And take care.